Hey everyone, welcome to another Fog of Gore painting tutorial where I'm going to show you how I'm painting a test scheme for a new army. This is uh, going to be a quick video, nothing too grim dark, just a fun one where I paint a space marine with a tiger pattern. I got the idea for this paint scheme while I'm designing a custom chapter of space marines that borrows some ideas from the Aztec, Jaguar and Eagle warriors. That is still in the make. But I wanted to see what an assault intercessor would look like with a cool animal paint scheme. So to start with, I primed the model black and here I'm going at it with a dry brush with Jokero orange. I know that I want a deep and bright orange color for this guy, but the Troll Slayer and Riser Rust from Games Workshop paint range really don't cover well. So it's better to start with something that covers better and then add the lighter orange over that. As you can see, I'm working very, very messy and I don't care if paint goes on parts that shouldn't be orange. I'll just clean it up later. For the second step, I want to get the chest and the inner sides of the legs and arms white. If you've seen my other video where I paint a Ravenwing Outrider, you know that you shouldn't use white when painting white. And so here I am painting with grey sear. I'm again working fast and messy. This is a test model after all. And then it's time for the bright orange. I'm going all over these parts with Troll Slayer orange. I'm still using a dry brush for this and I'm taking this opportunity to straighten out the line that divides the white and orange on his legs and his arms as well. Because it's better to paint over white with the orange than the other way around. I'm quite happy with the base colors here and I can see that this is the way to go for my Tiger Marine. So I'm taking the time to block in some of the other details. With the bright colors for his armor, that will also get very busy with the stripes, I went for a simple gray color for the leather and the weapons. So this is all done in ashen gray. Then I do some of the details with lead belcher. These are the metal details on the weapons and the exhausts and stabilizers on his backpack. Once this is all done, it's time for the first wash. And here you get to see a mistake that I'm making. I wanted to give the whole model a wash, but not dull the bright orange too much. And so I went for Seraphim Sepia to cover the whole model. But it didn't work out. The shade wasn't dark enough, and I feel like it just didn't do anything for the orange. The white on his chest, on the other hand, would look okay like this, but it would definitely need a white highlight. So after the Seraphim Sepia dried, I had to go for another wash and this time I picked Agrax Earthshade. I just applied it everywhere except for the white parts of the marine. This gave a good deep shade that gave me the results that I was looking for. These sort of mistakes are common if you're painting a test scheme and it's completely normal to just keep working and apply another layer of a different color, see how it works out. You can always decide to strip the mini later on if it goes completely wrong. So after the wash has dried, it's time for a bright orange highlight. For this I'm using Riser Rust. It's essentially the same color as the Troll Slayer that I used for the base, but it comes in the form of a dry brush paint and I find that easier to work with. You could just use Troll Slayer again for this instead. The highlight only goes on the shoulders, his head, the top of the backpack and his arms. Keep the lower part of the model a bit darker. And it's time to brighten the chest as well. Uh, I'm doing this with a dry brush with some gray sear. Uh, looking at the chest after this is done, I think that the Seraphim Sepia wash actually was the right choice for the white parts. It leaves this nice yellowish shade in the recesses that comes out now after highlighting. And I think it actually works great. And then it's time for the tiger stripe pattern. I just looked up a bunch of tiger photos online to see what these stripes look like. And it's a good idea to get a photo reference if you're working on an animal pattern. I'm starting on the back and the legs of the marine to get a bit of practice in with these stripes before I work on his front and shoulder pads. The shoulder pads especially will be very visible, so I want to make sure that I do the pattern on these as best as I can. And the practice on the rest of the model will help with that. So just keep putting on stripes until you think the model's finished. I used Abaddon Black for these stripes, by the way. 
And then it's time for the eyes. Uh, for this guy, I went with Retributor Armor, which is a very bright gold paint. I think it's perfect for a Tiger model. And that's the test model already done. Now I could of course improve this quite a bit. The purity seal on the leg, for example, is just painted over in the Tiger print. I could apply battle damage, blood, a base and more details on the weapons. But this is a test model for a paint scheme and it's not intended to be a final model. So I think it's all right. If you want to try out a paint scheme, I really recommend working like this. Work fast and block in the areas of the model as quick as you can. And then work to get the highlights and shades right. That way you first get to see how the whole model will look before spending too much time on details that might not matter at all. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please support me by giving a like and subscribe if you want more creative painting ideas and tutorials. I also have a website and a Patreon with more content. I'll put links in the description below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.